New Indians, we got a nifty install for you this evening. We are going to be throwing in an RTX 3090 into our wonderful pre-built here, our ABS pre-built that we got from Newegg. This is our 3090 that we're going to be throwing in here. This thing is smoking. Can everything you see on the table here, I'll have a link down in the description, like the iFixit kit or the uh, 8 to 6 plus 2 splitter and stuff like that. And I'll have a link down in the description. But anyways, let's show over the on screen and take a look at what our RTX 2060 did and our ABS. It scored 7,419 and our first GPU test in 3D Mark time spy was 47.97 and our second was 42.6 42.64. Of course guys, I'm going to start this like I do all my upgrades. I'm going to take the side panel off, unplug all the wires and then we're going to start the upgrade from there. If you want to follow along, go ahead and uh, other than that, that's where we're going to get rocking and rolling with this upgrade guys. All right, guys, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is unplug our power cable right here. This is the most easiest thing to do. I already have this adapter slotted in here, and I'll just do it for comical sense. You push the two 6 plus 2s together, and, of course, now it's not going to go back in because it's going to make a liar out of me, because why would it? And you snap it together. Make sure there is no gap in here. A gap right there could equal bad. All right, so as we got the power undone, we're going to have to come to the rear here because it has a little goofy panel. This guy right here, we're going to have to take this screw up top. Go ahead and get your iFix a kit out and get a number two Phillips or a JP, a GP, JP001. Go ahead and grab this guy off. And this is a little cage so that's slotted on down. And set that off to the side. And now our GPU is going to pretty much be free. We just got to get two screws right here in the back, as you see right here. So these two right here. Of course, I am going to come down in here and it's kind of hard to see with uh, anything else on any other other cameras, but I unsnap it right there. And then now our GPU is free. So I'm gonna come and grab these two screws right here. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the back and try to grab on the back of the GPU if I can, I can't. There's one spot back here I could grab here, but I'm gonna have to sandwich it between my hands. Try not to grab the fans, pull straight out. And that's your GPU free. Of course, set the 2060 off to the side. And here's your RTX 3090. I always keep this uh, little rubber grommet on here just to protect the gold pins. Go ahead and unslot that. And we're gonna line it up with our top PCI slot here. Make sure our cables are out of the way. And we're gonna push her on home. There we go. And I'm gonna start plugging in right over here, even though I probably should wait till we have it screwed down. Actually, you know what, that's what I am gonna do. Cause I don't wanna put any extra stress on the PCI slot. So let's go ahead, you're gonna go with the same steps in reverse. Put both your screws back in. Usually I get one started and then I get both in and then I crank both of them down. And you're gonna kind of hold up on your GPU here, giving about three to five pounds upward pressure. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe I'm, I'm a 200 pound gorilla pushing on this GPU. Just enough pressure upwards. Of course, there is a GPU adjustable uh, holder right here that you can adjust in this case, which is kind of neat. And we need two more eight plus two, or we need two, two more eight pins for our 3090 here. And we'll go ahead and plug this in. Now, if you're wondering like, hey, Tech Nitwit, I, I have this ABS and it only has a 600 watt power supply. Is it gonna support this? And the current configuration with the i5 is a 65 watt CPU and the memory, yes, this will support it. But if you start adding more fans, uh, an i7 or an i9, or you start adding regular HDs in here, you're gonna want a bigger power supply. Uh, the 600 watt will, will run this guy. But other than that, go ahead and put your PC back together and meet me back here for a benchmark, y'all. Wham, bam, thank you, man. This RTX 3090 did not disappoint. I mean, let's jump over to the on-screen really quick here and let's look at our RTX 2060. We scored 7,419 and we compare that to our RTX 3090, we scored 15,874. And of course, let's jump back over to the RTX 2060. The first GPU score was 47.96 and the second was 42.67 or 42.64, uh, mistaken my English. And our RTX 3090 had 130.62. The second one was 116.44. Let's pull up 3D Mark and let's look at what we would get in some of our modern titles. Of course, this is with 1440p Ultra. Uh, Battlefield 5, we're looking at 185 frames plus. Apex Legends, 140 plus. GTA 5, 110 plus. Fortnite, we're looking at 160 plus, and Red Dead Redemption, 80 plus. Uh, it's actually looking pretty good. So guys, I'm gonna have to give this two thumbs up approval as being a good upgrade for the ABS. Of course, you do have the 600 watt power supply, maybe limiting you to what CPUs you could upgrade if you do wanna do that. I'm gonna tell you, you wanna upgrade that first. Other than that, if you do go this path to upgrade. 
Uh, I mean, this thing just ate okay in my book. Did a really good job. Anyways, guys, I'm TechNet. What I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. If you need any help with any of this stuff, throw a comment down below. Everything you see me using the install, I did. will link down in the description down below. And other than that, guys, I'm out, y'all.